Sandwiched between hills and perceived as a kind of stronghold, Kapenguria, West Pokot's main town, has become a battleground for Jubilee and Kanu, out to test the supremacy card ahead of the August 8th gubernatorial poll. A former teacher who rose through the ranks to become the principal of Otum Boys High School. West Pokot Governor Simon Kachapin faces the test of his political career. From his former ally turned critic, career educationist, and county senator John Lonyangapu. Gentlemen, Bwana Governor, Bwana Professor Lonyangapu, I'm the chair here. The two men who campaigned together on a Kano ticket, delivering victory for Governor Kachapin with 44,918 votes against his closest rival, Geoffrey Lipale of ODM then, who got 38,720 votes, fell out due to disagreements on county development projects as witnessed in this video. We dwell on conflicts that are unnecessary. Well, let, let, me, let me just finish the chairman, with due respect, unnecessary conflict. Because Mr. Lonyangapu here, Governor... Uh, professor, Senator, professor. Not Mr. Whether you like Lonyangapu or not, you must like Senator, the Senate service. And you people have no choice because I was I played a, a big role when we were actually doing our campaign. This is a Kanu government which is in, inside the main jubilee. With battleized drone, Governor Kachapin jumped ship to jubilee, while Senator Lonyangapu a key ally of Baringo Senator Gideon Moy stuck with Kano, kicking off a supremacy battle between him and Kachapin. My senator um, is also seeking to be a governor. But, uh, but he's welcome. I've told him he's welcome. I'm not coming to governor to beat Kachapin. I'm coming to governor position because of an agenda. I'm very confident I'm going to, uh, uh, to defeat him. I'm going to humble him. He is irrelevant to me. He is not even a subject that I'm going, when I beat him, he will suffer. No. He has his home to go. If he beats me the way he is now boasting, you know I have my, 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 my profession. Stalking this supremacy duel is Deputy President William Ruto, whose 2013 election vehicle URP failed to capture the Westport Court senatorial seat through former cabinet minister Samuel Pogisio. Pogisio has since switched camp to Kano, where he will contest the senatorial seat. The Jubilee Kano duel has forced the deputy president to visit West Pokot more than 30 times. Efforts that appear to have paid off for Jubilee, while triggering a war of words between Senator Lanyangapu and Ruto's allies in the region. Interestingly, Kano will be supporting President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election bid. If you are a beneficiary of our total submission of votes, what is itching you? If they get more seats for Kano in Rift Valley, they will undertake as a deputy president when he's going for presidency in 2022. That is their plan. And we have gotten it. Why would anybody like that take it so personal? Lonyangapu will not reach ballot box 2017, August. You will not see them. If something happens to me as an individual, whether it's man-made or God-made, God you know that statement is in West Pokot. Very serious. And I think professors should go to church to ask for repentance. <laughs> you know why? Because the 30 times the deputy president has come has brought development. So where is the political interference? The more he comes, the more he fails. Head down, legs up. While Kanu has the governor and senator seat, Deputy President William Ruto's defunct United Republican Party URP has four of the county MPs, including the county woman representative Regina Nyeris. Kanu won the Kapenguria seat, currently held by area MP Samuel Moroto. Kanu, however, controls the majority in the county assembly with eight MCAs, followed by URP and ODM, who have four MCAs each, while the rest are shared by the other parties. Kanu and Jubilee enjoy split support among the county's 32 MCAs, while four of the members of parliament 
have shifted their allegiance to Jubilee. Kanu has become stronger because we have brought the giants. And when giants come to join giant, <laughs> what I mean is that, but just listen to the Jogo, the way he's making, the way it's, 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 it's responding to what I've just said. <laughs> You can't lie to yourself that Kanu now as a presidential candidate, in fact, it's in, it's in dilemma. Is it good to go to a small party and then negotiate for something, or is it good to go to the house and and then cut it, cut the food yourself? Since Jubilee took power, the government has started a 10 billion shillings water project at Lale, built a Kenya medical training college, a teacher's training college, and the tamaking of Kamatira Cheptongei Road that connects West Pokot and Marakwet. <laughs> Jubilee's track record has forced most aspirants in the county to align themselves with the party, a move that has seen Geoffrey Lipale of ODM decamp from the opposition to battle it out with Governor Kachapin in the Jubilee nominations, together with Kachaliba Constituency Development Fund Manager Wilson Koringora. I have 17, 70 aspirants on my side. 70. 70. He only has 26 aspirants who are the current MCS with him. The president, the party leader and the, and the vice president have said there will be fair and free nominations. So I welcome my brother. We don't fear that. Even if he comes with big people from the national government, he like uh, Henry Boruto, uh, horrible uh, president. That one you don't fear, provided we are with the community. It's not that Jubilee is divided. D don't report that Jubilee is divided in West Pokot. It is Jubilee, but two different teams playing on the same field. 16 years after the death of former powerful cabinet minister Francis Lotodo, who was the undisputed king of the Pokot, the installation of the mathematics professor in November last year to succeed Lotodo as the Pokot spokesman sparked off a supremacy battle in the region, with Governor Kachapin being installed in a counter ceremony held on the 7th of January, a date that also coincided with elders' blessings for Senator Lanyangapu and senatorial aspirant Samuel Pogisio. A section of the elders allied to Governor Kachapin, however, opposed Kachapin's installation, saying he's too young to become the community's spokesman. Ranked among the 14 marginalized counties in Kenya, West Pokot has had its run-ins in the past, was sent by insecurity, hunger, and cattle rustling. Governor Kachapin credits his first term in office for opening up the county infrastructure. His ambitious plan to construct county buildings has put him at loggerheads with Ilonyanga poor and fellow aspirants, who say his priorities are misplaced in a county in need of key investments to spur economic growth and invest heavily in the education sector. Whatever you see around, I'm the one who started all these offices, be it land services which was in Transwear, all the offices, I'm the one who created the same, up to even, even these residents. Every CEC office, two-story building, CEC, and you know there are ten of them. Each, 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 each. The, the question is, Apart from housing employees, what else will a building do? When I ask why, he says no. We want to build so that in the in 50 years to come, people will not be building anything. Who told you to live for people who have not been born? They will get all sorts of issues to criticize, but uh, I can say they are not. Um, it's not fair criticism. We are seeing offices here in Kabinguri being fueled by the current governor without considering the welfare of Pokot by building bridges, which is the source of income, stability for the, for the road, for the road uh, network. Another point of departure between Kachapin and his opponents is the county roads. While some credit the governor for opening up remote places in the county, criticism has been forthcoming. I want to tell you even one word, electoral word, didn't have a single road. Didn't have a single road. As we speak today, that that word eh, have opened a road. Opening up a bush using a bulldozer 
without following it with a greda, without following it with, with maram and a roller, and the engineer who will do the drainage system, stop it, don't proceed with that road. My county has done them. So the roads have turned out to be planned new rivers, man-made rivers. It's better to have a road than not to have any. So number one is, is there any road? Yes. Was there any road before? No. Even if it's bad, we will use our donkeys on it. In 2013, Kachapin and Onyangapuo campaigned on a three-pronged manifesto, economy, education, and equity, all the three main aspirants don't see eye to eye on the implementation of these projects, ranging from the way way irrigation scheme meant to mitigate hunger, budget for water projects, roads and education. Early childhood education ECD has been controversial. Since independent, we have never had ECD teachers. Hmm? In our first year, we employed more than 839 ECD teachers. Teachers have been employed. I hear they are being paid peanuts. Some are paid 4,000 per month, others 5,000 per month. And these are people who have finished from four. And the least paid now is 10,000. And we are going to increase that when their terms uh, is regulated and so forth. Still, our ECDs are under trees, meaning nobody has paid attention uh, on that note. The governor says he will be campaigning on the basis of his scorecard, among them putting street lights, Kenya's first county blood bank, opening more dispensaries in the region, equipping Kachaliba District Hospital, drilling water boreholes, opening more ECD classrooms, and employing teachers. As a former teacher can say, eh, the, uh, the scorecard is there. Eh? If, 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 uh, because I can say I promised this and I've done it. So during this period now, I'm going to the one I need to tell them, I said I'll do this and I've done this. So they know if he comes around, that fellow doesn't eat people's money. He uses the money. If I'm using mine today, I'm educating 120 children in second school from one to from four, and some are in university. Tell me which man is doing that unless you have a, unless you have a donor. When you talk about paying fees, making sure there is 100% transition rate, when you talk about creating jobs for graduates. When you talk about value addition, you are talking in terms of wealth. That agenda alone, really, uh, I would say in the Pokot community, they really identify themselves with that agenda. When I picked my profession and also mirror the county, it is not going the way I expect. And that is the reason I woke up, stand on my feet, and say, Pokot, please, can you consider me? County Governor Simon Kachapin and his former ally turned fierce rival, Senator John Lonyangapuo, will be heading to the 2017 ballot as fierce competitors, while Governor Kachapin is banking on Jubilee's growing support in the region. Senator Lonyangapuo is banking on his individual popularity and his network on the ground. Can Kano repeat the 2013 script? Apul Kamau for Counties 2017 in West Pokot County.